New details in a shocking internal affairs investigation into possible corruption inside a local police force. We're looking into claims of corruption and sex crimes in Desert Hot Springs. It is a News Channel 3 exclusive investigation tonight. News Channel 3's Nathan Baca is revealing new information on this story. Nathan. This report outlines testimony and evidence that one former community service and animal control officer, Marco Anthony Zuzueta, was not only working for Desert Hot Springs, he was allegedly working with the Sinaloa Cowboys, a Mexican drug cartel. The report is chilling. Drugs missing from the police evidence room, investigation files and information about private citizens missing and presumed given to the drug cartel. Dogs stolen from the DHS animal shelter, injected with meth, then forced to fight to the death. Tonight, we investigate what former police chief Roy Hill knew about this and when. This internal affairs report obtained by News Channel 3 describes in detail how a Mexican drug cartel, the Sinaloa Cowboys, infiltrated the Desert Hot Springs police force in 2003. We have blank names in the report to protect sources. The report alleges Officer Marco Anthony Zazueta was stealing dogs from the DHS animal shelter, doping them with meth, and selling them to fighting rings run by the Sinaloa Cowboys. In a recent interview, former police chief Roy Hill claims he was never presented the report. But if that's true, why do we have a copy of the report, a copy we made available on KESQ.com last week? We've also obtained an interview with the confidential informant about Zazueta, and we alter the person's voice to protect their identity. They say Roy Hill knew about the crimes for two years before the internal affairs investigation. Now, this information so Zueta was simply transferred to the front desk of the police department even though the informant says Roy Hill knew about the problems when he was human resources director before becoming police chief. The informant gives an explanation as to why the events at the animal shelter were not investigated until 2004. Roy tried to get him terminated before. Yeah. Joe Gazetta would not terminate him. Would Joe Gazetta, the former city manager. And the reason why he wouldn't is because the lawsuit was pending against the animal shelter. What was the lawsuit about? Lawsuits about animal cruelty, animal abuse, negligence. I didn't follow that. Uh, it was filed by a man by the name of Al Stein. This lawsuit could have cost the then bankrupt city of Desert Hot Springs a large amount of money. Hill's attorney tells News Channel 3 the former chief is not at liberty to comment on a personnel matter. We've been looking for former officer Zueta to get his response to the internal affairs investigations. Our attempts to find him have so far been unsuccessful. We'll have much more this week on our investigation right here on KESQ. Nathan Baca, KESQ News Channel 3, back to you.